Have you ever walked into a room and felt like everyone was staring at you? Thinking, do I look okay or will I mess up? Have you ever worried about letting someone else down? Failing? Have you ever worried about making the wrong decision? Self-confidence. Some people are born with it, some have to work for it, and others are trying to achieve it. Good afternoon. My name is Shannon, and today I'll be talking to you about self-confidence. Self-confidence is belief in one's abilities, qualities, and judgment. Not everyone is perfect. There is a time in everyone's life where they lack confidence in themselves or what they're doing. When people do not have it, they often admire people who have self-confidence. And sometimes this can help to motivate them and take on the time, kinds of risks to help develop self-confidence. Wouldn't it be worth it to become more fearless and self-assured like the people we look up to? You may be asking, how can I gain my self-confidence? A famous philosopher named Lao Tzu once said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. The most important first step towards this is goal setting. Think about what you want to achieve, prepare your mind and body, and commit to starting and staying with it. You do this first by preparing for your journey, whether it's for a public speech like I am doing now, competing in a sports competition, or going to a job interview. All of these require preparation to be the best you can be. Practice makes perfect. Imagine your team is in the basketball finals. You haven't attended any team practices, went over any game strategies, and constantly worry that you'll let your team down. Do you think you'll have the confidence to perform at your best? But now imagine, if you decided you were going to practice at home every day as well as with the team, memorize your game plans, and plan your diet and warm up. You'll have yourself set up for success and confident there is nothing more you could have done to perform at your best. One of the greatest basketball players ever, Michael Jordan, said, I've failed over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Positive thinking is another step in your journey. Even if you don't always feel positive, you can act positive. One of my teachers taught me to fake it until you make it. Then one day you won't have to fake it anymore. You also cannot be afraid to fail. Learn that mistakes will happen when you try new things. We learn from our mistakes. Do not worry about the past. You will never achieve anything great unless you take risks. Get yourself ready for the worst case scenario and then have a plan to overcome it and turn it into a positive. For example, I imagine the worst case scenario here today is that you would all laugh at me. And if that happens, which I'm sure it won't, I'll be ready to laugh along with you. Knowing that makes me more confident in my abilities here today. Concentrate on your strengths rather than your weaknesses. Tell yourself you can do it rather than you can't. Think of the end result and meeting your goal. Sometimes just imagining success will get you there. Have you ever dreamed of something great? Well, keep that thought in your head. And finally, be aware of your appearance and body language. Never deny how important things like eye contact, posture, and facial expressions are. Simply pulling back your shoulders can give others the impression that you're a person full of confidence. This relates back to faking your confidence until you become truly confident. Remember that making eye contact when you're speaking to a person shows confidence. Look at the face, not at your shoes. Always look your best. When you look your best, you feel your best. Imagine going to a job interview. Think of how you'd feel if you had woken up late, no time to shower, do your hair and makeup, and throw on any item of clothing. Not your best start. But if you are wearing your favorite outfit, take time to prep for your day, and look in the mirror and feel good, you'll feel confident, and others will think of you as confident too. Building self-confidence takes time. As I said earlier, it's a journey that requires both patience and determination. It is natural to fear failure when faced with challenging tasks. If we do not fail, we can never move forward.